the website is closed. Having nightmares. This is my new prized possession. Has been on my wish list for years. Look how cute she looks. I think I kind of took it the wrong way when people were saying... Good morning, everyone. That wasn't just like a cringe, I'm gonna set the camera down, walk away and come back. I was actually just moving some washing out of the background. <laughs> just keeping it real here. But welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am really unsure about this hairstyle today. I haven't done my hair like this probably since I was in school. You can definitely tell because the state of these braids. Do you know what actually? I really don't like this. I think I'm gonna regret vlogging with my hair like this when I come back to edit it. But I saw a girl on TikTok do her hair like this and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna give it another shot. I actually don't think it's for me. And now I've got to try and get this tiny elastic out the back of my head. Give me two seconds. Okay, five minutes, a bit of profuse sweating and two achy arms later, I'm back and the braids are gone. How is everyone? Hope you're all good. It's currently Tuesday. I had a really busy work day yesterday, so I thought I'm just gonna start the vlog tomorrow. And now the rest of my week is a lot more chill. So I'm looking forward to this one. I mentioned in last week's vlog that I had loads of brand deal deadlines come up at the same time and that's all done now. I have submitted all the content. I'm having a bit of a bits and bobs day today, I think. I've got a few bits on my to-do list, starting with the morning dog walk. Let's go. Sunny went for a groomer, a new groomers last week. Look how cute she looks. I really like the way she's cut her because she still looks exactly like herself. Like she hasn't really changed other than she's a little bit shorter. She's got no knots or mats in her. And you're all fluffy and clean. But she still looks like her. Because you know when sometimes you pick your dog up from the groomers and it looks like a completely different dog? You still look like my sunny bear. You do, sweet girl. Look at that little face. Oh, you're so beautiful. My dog mum voice is so annoying. I am so sorry. I'm sure you're used to it now though, guys. Because she's four this year. Can you actually believe it? If anyone was here when I posted these pictures on Instagram, please let me know because you have been along for the ride. Yeah, those rolls aren't for you. They're for Stuart the Builder. Should we go and take them round for him? And then we go out for a walk. Oh, that sounds good. It's so windy today that someone does not want to walk. Come on. Oh, good girl. So typical, making me look like a liar, Sonny. <laughs> We're just having a very, very, very slow one today. Smelling all the smells, breathing in the fresh air, although it's such a miserable day. Look at the river. It looks so gross. When the river is calling, said I love you forever. I have literally made the most feeble attempt of making my appearance look okay today, so just ignore my face. And I'm just about to wrap up a present for my cousin because it's her birthday tomorrow. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, I think I've put this really nice little set together. This little Olaplex set. I don't know if she's ever tried Olaplex before, but I think it's one of those things where once you try it, it's game changing and it's like such a treat. I very rarely buy Olaplex for myself. I normally ask for it for Christmas or something just because it's quite expensive, you know? But they do this little starter kit with five different Olaplex products. So I thought she can try out every one, see what she likes. The shampoo and conditioner are in there, of course. There's an intensive bond building hair treatment, the number three hair protector. I know a lot of people like that and also the number eight intense moisture mask. And then I got some little silk scrunchies to go with it. So I'm gonna pop them in there. I'm gonna wrap it up all nicely. But isn't that such a nice little birthday present? I'm proper chuffed with it. And I thought it would give you guys some inspo in case any of you have got like birthdays coming up and stuff. Let's get wrapping. I'm gonna wrap it in this cute wrapping paper. I think I got this on Amazon. And while I watch this, I've got like 10 minutes left of the Not My Bag podcast left to listen to with GK Barry. So I'm gonna set that up just down here and get wrapping like a little birthday elf. so cute. I should be a professional rapper. The present kind, not the lyrical kind. Good morning everyone. It is hair appointment day. I'm gonna have a nice trim. I'm gonna have layers cut back in. I'm having it recolored as well. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm very excited to have the white blonde balayage back. I feel like it's a personality trait at this point. I'm naturally blonde, but it's like quite a dark blonde. And then obviously as time goes on, the white blonde goes more yellowy. This is the before, a little bit drab, needs a little bit of TLC to say the least. Right, I will see you in probably four hours time. Adios.
and this is the after i'm back i'm all done four hours later i was optimistic because it's now three o'clock to be fair i was in the hairdressers for just over four hours um but as you can see i'm now at the office my hair just feels so much better you know like when you get that little bit of length taken off and your hair feels so much healthier i had my layers cut back in which you can probably tell more when it's straight had it washed and blow dried it feels lovely and i know i'm probably gonna get some questions so basically when i go to the hairdressers i just ask for a white blonde balayage and my hairdresser victoria she's unbelievable she uses like the whitest blonde and the whitest toner that they've got i have it done maybe like three times a year i want to say it's not a lot it's really easy to maintain when it's balayage because it grows out and doesn't look like a solid line it's not like roots anyway i wanted to have a little catch up with you guys because i don't know if any of you guys will have noticed i think it will be more my sunnyside customers but the website is closed never fear though sunnyside is not closing I still absolutely love it. I just feel like it needs a little revamp, a redesign. So I'm currently redesigning the website. If I'm totally honest, I think in my list of priorities, this year so far, Sunnyside has been somewhere near the bottom because of the house, with YouTube stuff being really busy, with the YouTube podcast, with brand deals. I have to remind myself, I'm only one person and something has to give. And for me this year, that's been Sunnyside. Don't get me wrong though, I've still been in the office almost every day packing orders, if not every other day. So the orders that come in do still go out really quickly. I just haven't made any solid plans for new designs until now. I think I'm over the bulk of my YouTube work. The house renovation, obviously it's still full on but it's in motion now and there's not loads more that i can do for it there was a comment on my vlog last week being like stop talking about the house renovation and how you round there every day sorry guys but that's my life and these vlogs are my life so of course i'm going to talk about it if i'm there every day i'm going to talk about that because that's what i've got going on but there is actually a lot of times when i don't film going around to the house or i don't mention it so consider yourself lucky because it could be a lot more often <laughs> anyway over the neggy comments so now that everything else is starting to quiet and down a little bit i am back on the sunny side grind and like i said i think the website needs a refresh it was cute but i made it three years ago and i've learned a lot since then so i kind of want to change my branding a little bit switch up the colors switch up the vibe i mean i'm not switching up the colors too drastically we're still pink because i am pink at heart i wouldn't say that the sunny side designs are going to change at all because i still love the style that my harnesses are i would describe my designs as cute but classy and hmm what word am I looking for? Understated. Nothing that's too babyish or cartoony, but also not dull. So yeah, that's why the website's shut down. I started working on it yesterday, but I'm not gonna set a date for when the website is gonna relaunch because I don't wanna stress myself out about it. So I'm going for a little bit more neutral, boho vibes i think one of the other things i had in mind for the new website is to have little graphics of each product so that the customer can click on it and take them to that section so i messaged alice of course i did my graphic designer and bestie and i'll put these on screen but she sent these over today she's been drawing these for me so we've got the lead the harness the adventure harness the map bag poo bag holder the blankets the rope lead and she's also just sent the bow tie and the cool vest i just love the design of these I always love Alice's work and that brings me on to the new Sunnyside designs. So one thing about me is I love to compare myself to other small businesses which I really need to not do. To be fair I've been good at it this year because I've not really been that invested in it do you know what I mean? If other people bring out summer collections next week and mine don't come out till July so be it you know i'm just one person and usually with my new collections i keep them secret until they launch and then it's like a big reveal of each design i think this time i want to bring you guys along on the journey on the process of creating a new design so this week i have spent my evenings putting together documents for alice where i basically explain to her what i want in each design so the next collection is gonna be summer fruits and it is so adorable it feels weird to talk about it when it's in such early stages but I have four designs that I've planned out for Alice and I basically put on these documents like the inspo, the colours, the kind of graphics that I want, the kind of vibe I'm going for, you know. I've sent them over to her and she is going to get started on creating the designs. I'm not going to show you these inspo documents just because it's not exactly what the design's going to look like but when Alice sends the first draft of the designs I will vlog that. I normally don't and I'll vlog any changes that I ask her to make and yeah, we can just go along on this process together. Sunnyside Summer Fruits 2024. I would say 
I think they're all unisex. The watermelon one is maybe a little bit girly, but other than that, they'd all look so cute on boy or girl dogs. I've been yapping for way too long. But unfortunately for you, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so the actual design process, I could be screen recording this, but here we are, I've set the camera up now. So I would type in maybe like oranges seamless pattern and see what comes up. I kind of like get a vibe for what I want. So for example, I prefer this one to this one. This one, I'm not really vibing with the colours. I like the watercolour of this. Ones like these, none of those are catching my eye. Out of these ones, I like this one the best. That's not the one on the inspo picture, but I do like it. But I know I want a bit more leaves than that. So I will kind of like, like this one, for example. That's cute. I like that. This looks like tomatoes, so that one's not for me. But I will kind of like screenshot a load of things. So I'd screenshot this. I would screenshot this, put it in the document. Obviously, I've already done it. But then I would type in orange blossom, as you can see. These are what the flowers look like. So then I would type in clip art. So then I would send Alice these ones. And I think I've written in the graphics section for Alice. I like the whole oranges but I love the half oranges so she knows to do a mixture of both love the flowers but I want it to be unisex so not too many flowers I love this style of watercolour oranges I just love watercolour graphics I think they look so pretty another thing that I've done in the past is not for this collection I haven't actually done this but in the past I've typed in maybe like jungle nursery wallpaper oh this is actually the one that my nephew's got in his bedroom how cute is it? But yeah, I'll type that in because obviously these are all seamless patterns. And if I want to get inspo for like this one, for example, I think this was one of my inspo pictures for my wild side harness, which I'll put a picture on screen. But obviously when my products are made, it's also printed on fabric. So it needs to be a seamless pattern. And obviously wallpapers are also a seamless pattern. Other than that one I've just shown actually, that looks like a mural. Usually it's like a repeated pattern, you know? And that's how my harnesses are made. That bit of fabric is printed, then it's cut out into the harness or stitched together see how that one's a seamless pattern I mean it's not quite because people don't want you to like copy it but yeah I found that looking at nursery wallpapers a lot of the time is my vibe but more this than this that does not scream sunny side this one does do you know what I mean like I just go with my preference and then I think that sets the vibe for my business because if I love it it's gonna match the vibe of the rest of the designs if I don't love it like this one for example, not a massive fan of that. That's not screaming Sunnyside to me because it's not screaming me. I don't actually know if this vlog segment has been interesting in the slightest, but I just thought I'd give you a little insight into my brain of how the very beginning of the process starts. So I'm currently filming this mid-April. We'll see when the Summer Fruits collection launches because <laughs> mid-April is when the process began. I'm guessing possibly the end of June, probably the beginning of July is when it will launch. I'm gonna show you a little logo glow up. So so this is my current logo that is on my website, well was on my website, but this is also the one that is on the harnesses. Well this is on everything, like for example matte bag pouch, obviously same logo. So it's already printed physically on all my products, so I don't want to change it too much because I'm gonna stick with this. I do want them all to match, but the website logo, she's had a little freshen up, ready to see her in three two, one. How cute is that? It's like, you can't really see it on this camera, but it's a little bit of a dusky pink. And then I've added some little sparkles, some little flowers. There's a little flower there. These are some of the new colors that I'm going to be using on the website. So like a duskier pink and then like a pale pink rather than a baby pink, because before it was quite a peachy pink. A little bit more muted tones, you know, and I love this little flower on the eye. When I was up here yesterday, I had the alarm serviced. I have to have it done every year for insurance. And I was here in the stockroom while the guy was doing it because I have been putting off this job for so long, but I really needed to make more space. Obviously for the summer fruits collection, I need more tubs, um, which I have now got because I've started to combine stock. So for example, I haven't done this one yet, but when a design first arrives, this tub is full of the leads and this tub is full of the poo bag holders. When they start to sell to about halfway, I can combine them into one tub like this, which obviously frees up a tub. So then I've got poo bag holders and leads. Same with this one, same with this one. So I've already gained three tubs by combining those. Then I started combining sizes. So instead of a tub for each size I've now got extra small and small in here oh my gosh I only have two left of those and when they arrive again they're a tub full so yeah I'm trying to like combine where I can it also freed up some space along here around this way as well you can see that I could definitely put like 
these tubs maybe across the top of these ones or something like that just to make a bit more space but look how many tubs I've ended up with just by combining stuff that sold how good is that so now all of these tubs will be taken upstairs when the summer fruits collection arrives then I can divide them up for storage if you run a small business these grey tubs are a lifesaver they're definitely an investment they are about I think I think £12 a tub so it does cost quite a lot of money when you need more which is why I like to make the best use out of them and combine things where I can but once you've got to a stage where your stock starts selling you can reuse the tubs for new things so you kind of get to a point where you're not having to buy loads more tubs and obviously you can move them around so easily if I end up doing any dog events or stalls I can obviously bring the stock with me super easily from the tubs I buy them from a website called Big Dug and you can buy them in bulk packs which work out slightly cheaper than and buying them individually i think they come in like packs of five i want to say i'll link them down below actually in case they're of use to anyone p.s i always get comments asking how tall i am because in this room i look like a giant but actually this ceiling is really low like look how easily i can touch that I'm five foot six, if anyone's interested. I promise I'm not a giant. And the downstairs stock room is just quite a short room. I've made a big mistake, guys. I was gonna stay here for a couple of hours and edit some of this vlog. So I bought with me my hard drive. Didn't bring with me the memory card reader because the memory card on this camera is a little micro SD card. So I need to like convert it into my laptop, which is really boring and really irritating actually. So I can't import this footage at the office so let's go home at least we can see sunny bear Obviously, this is my vlog. I look a bit windswept because I've just got back from the Sunnyside office packing the orders for the day. And then when we got back, Sunny had so much energy. So we've just been playing in the garden. But I'm gonna try this. So I bought this on TikTok. It's the Arden Grange Premium Liver Paste. I see people using this to like train their dogs a lot, but I thought it would be good to get Sunny thinking because she's not a chewy kind of dog. Like she won't sit and chew a chew for hours or chew a toy. Like I have to be actively playing with her. But I've just dug out her licky mat, which she's had since she was a puppy. She never really loved it, but I think because I was putting like Greek yogurt and blueberries and stuff in it, and she just doesn't really like sweet things, but she loves this liver paste that I've bought. It was like three pounds on TikTok, but I did have to pay delivery as well. So let's go and give her this. She's waiting for it down here. She's obviously keen. Come on then. Is this gonna give me five minutes peace? Let's find out. Sit down then. Good girl. I feel like I need something that's a little bit more complex than this licky mat. Something that's a bit like more difficult for her maybe. I don't know. We'll see how she gets on. Okay, I reckon I have about T minus two minutes until she's finished that. But it is keeping her occupied and quiet. Sorry if you can hear the licking sounds in the background though. But I'm about to open this box which, I'm not going to lie, has been on my wish list for... I'm actually going to say years. I've had a link to this exact light saved in my notes app on my phone with the view of one day I am going to own this light and I cannot believe it's here. I think I found it via Molly May. So she posted like a bubble chandelier which led me into the world of bubble chandeliers. I didn't even know they existed. Found this company called Dowsing and Reynolds and they have very kindly gifted this to me which I never would have dreamt they would want to do. Insane to me. I have never been so excited about a source of light in my life. Not even when the summer rolls around and the sun comes out. I'm gonna film a little TikTok too. BRB. Vlogging and TikToking at the same time, surprisingly difficult. Okay, so they're all in little individual boxes. Oh my god, that is gonna look insane. So they're like little bubbles. I'll put a picture of this exact light on screen here. So this is the 24 bauble gold pendant light. The size of it is medium, which I think is 60 by 60 altogether. And then what's in this box? This is the actual hangy bit. Wow, guys. Okay, so you can shorten it to whatever length. Wow, that looks well lecky. That is definitely for the sparky, not for me. So I chose the gold one because I'm going for like gold light fittings downstairs. And then these little hooks are what the baubles hook to. And I just think over the dining table, like this light is gonna be the feature of the kitchen. But I particularly wanted to share it with you guys because obviously my house isn't a flashy house that I thought. I actually had comments about that on the house tour. And I'm not gonna lie, initially, I think I kind of took it the wrong way when people were saying 
how refreshing it is to see an influencer buy a normal house because I was kind of like have I done something wrong like should I be able to afford more than this do you know what I mean I don't know I just kind of got in my own head about it but actually I love my cozy little house and I just want to show you guys that even if you haven't got the mansions if you haven't got the detached five bedroom home you can still accessorize it and make it feel luxury which I think is exactly what this light is going to do with all these bubbles I want to say a massive thank you to Dowsing and Reynolds for sending me this light because I wish I could show you guys when I first made a note of this light but it's in a list of stuff that I've added to so I can't see when I first made it obviously it's not going to be put up until the dust has settled because no way do I want this in the building site it's not even going round to the house until the building work is done also very impressed Sunny is still licking this mat and I've been filming for 10 minutes why have I not discovered this liver paste sooner like I said I went for the medium 24 bauble light but you can go for the smaller one the larger one you can get medium with 12 baubles it just changes kind of like the height and the depth of the light but yeah i've gone full impact 24 baubles this is my new prized possession this and sunny are my two favorite things in life did you get every last little bit Oh, you have literally licked that clean. I'm not gonna lie. Sunny's a bit of a difficult dog to occupy, aren't you, my love? She's very needy. She always wants cuddles or playtime, no in between. You know the saying, made a rod for your own back? Yeah. Me during puppyhood, because I wanted to be with her 24 seven. She was my focus. It was also locked down, so like I didn't really have anything else to do. But yeah, that does mean that she doesn't play independently. She needs me or someone all the time if she wants to play. So if your dog is also like that, give the licking mat and the Arden Grange paste to try because I think this is going to give me 10 minutes of sanity every other day. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love playing with her and I obviously still will, but I feel so bad when I need to get work done or something and she doesn't really know how to play by herself. So now we can do licky mat time, can't we? Oh my god, how cute are these guys? So I just thought I should probably like check that all the baubles are okay. So I'm going to open each one and there's three that are like this, like the actual bulbs, and then the rest of them have got the cutest little hook. Why do I find that so adorable? And also so why does that remind me of the Grinch? So obviously the bulb ones screw into here and the other ones hook on like so and it makes a little cloud. That took me literally 15 minutes to check all of them. Not one was damaged. Top tier packaging. This is the level of relaxation I aspire to. She doesn't know what anxiety is. Anyway, my loves, it's now Saturday and I've had a little kitchen crisis this week. So I think I wanna change the color that I was planning on painting my kitchen. If you watch my previous vlogs, you may know that I've got a cashmere kitchen that's arrived, it has arrived now. Insert picture on screen here, editing hand. This is the kitchen currently in the lounge. Hasn't been fitted yet, but it is cashmere which is kind of like a light beige very slightly pinky undertone in some lights the paint color that i thought i had settled on finally after lots of deliberation was timeless by dulux but it has been dwelling on my mind because i actually think timeless is too yellow in the room where the kitchen is i think because it's a south facing room and it always has the sun obviously that warms up the room so I just think the yellow undertone is picking up too much. So I did some googling about what colours go best with cashmere and I saw really good reviews of one particular shade from Crown and the shade is called Sail White so I decided to get a few Crown samples from, where did I get them? I think I got them in Wix and I decided to test them out so little top tip, if you have a spare bit of MDF or plasterboard paint it white and then paint your samples on it because you can move it around to every wall of the room and see what it looks like at each angle. So the two shades that I'd narrowed it down to were Sail White and Fresh Coconut. In this clip Sail White is on the left and Fresh Coconut is on the right. I think you can tell on camera but Fresh Coconut is definitely more grey so I feel like Sail White is the one that I'm going to go for with my kitchen. It is literally cashmere but lighter so I think it's going to match really well. I'm hoping it's not going to make the kitchen look pink. I could not stop overthinking the timeless being yellow and the kitchen cupboards looking pink. I was having nice nightmares of the kitchen looking like a squashy. Anyway, I've actually had a really lovely day today. I've been out with my boyfriend's family. Yesterday we went to Wagamama's with our friends. I am socialized out. I'm excited for a Sunday tomorrow where I'm going to do nothing but watch Mama June. And then next week I am off to Amsterdam.
exam. If you know me, you know I'm a very anxious traveller, so I'm trying to stay calm about it. I'll take my rescue rem with me and I'll be fine. Yeah, so there's not going to be a vlog from me next week, just because I only have a couple of days to sort it out and I don't want to rush it and upload for the sake of it. So I'm going to save it until the week I get back. So yeah, next Sunday, no vlog from me, but I'll be posted on Instagram quite a lot. So if you're not already, go over and follow me on Instagram. You can see all the Amsterdam updates. But anyway, my loves, I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any Amsterdam recommendations if you've been. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely week next week and I will see you again, not next Sunday, but the Sunday after with another little video. And by that point, the bathroom will be finished. <gasps> Bye guys. Love ya. Bye.